Hi, I'm Emma from Tracklucent. In this video, I will give you an introduction to server-side tracking and why you should be interested in it. First, let's go through the problem, which is data loss in digital advertising. Client-side tracking is already losing 30 to 70 percent of data, and it is expected to only get worse. This is driven by multiple factors, such as iOS tracking preventions, cookie depreciation, and the usage of ad blockers, VPNs, and virus protection softwares. At the same time, digital advertising is increasingly based on automatic bidding and ad placements. Providing ad algorithms with accurate conversions and good quality data is an integral part of success in paid advertising. The less data you provide to our advertising algorithms, the more expensive your customer acquisition is, as the algorithms are not working efficiently. Let's go through the two important concepts you should understand. Client-side tracking and server-side tracking. First, client-side tracking. This is easy to implement, but it is unfortunately ineffective. This option worked well when ad platforms like Facebook and Google could collect all day that they wanted from the user's browser. Client-side tracking is becoming inaccurate due to growing privacy concerns and evolving regulations. Then we have server-side tracking, which is difficult to implement usually, but it is effective. For effective tracking setup, you need to deliver all data to ad platforms also via their APIs from your server. This is the most important, but also the difficult, time-consuming part. But this is the new standard for tracking. So for you to understand in practice what it means, this is how you were doing it before and maybe even now with client-side tracking. So the easy option. First, there is user interaction. Somebody clicks on your ad and end up, ends up on your website where they take an action, such as making a purchase or filling out a form. Then the browser executes. A tracking script, such as Facebook Pixel, for example, runs in the user's browser to collect event data. It typically stores the tracking information in third-party cookies. However, modern browsers increasingly block or limit third-party cookies, leading to incomplete tracking. Then comes the potential data loss. Due to ad blockers, browser restrictions, and network interruptions, some of this data might not reach its destination, leading to inaccurate tracking. And lastly, the data transmission. The browser pixel sends this inadequate data directly to third-party platforms. Then we have the difficult option you want to implement, server-side tracking. First, there is the user interaction, somebody clicks on your ad and engages with your website. Then your server captures this interaction data directly and doesn't store it in the user's browser. The data can also be enriched and offline conversions can be delivered from other systems such as CRMs to the server. Then the data needs to be processed and formatted appropriately before delivering it to ad platforms. After that, the processed data is sent securely to third-party services like analytics and advertising platforms via conversion APIs directly from your server. As I mentioned before, setting up server-side tracking and using conversion APIs manually can be complex because it requires server infrastructure, technical expertise, and ongoing maintenance. You need to configure cloud or on-premise servers, ensure secure data handling, and integrate with multiple ad platforms APIs, each with their own authentication and data formatting rules. But with a solution like Tracklucent, all your worries are gone as Tracklucent handles this process plug and play. Tracklucent handles all technical development and maintenance related to server-side tracking under the hood. Our pixel will collect and deliver first-party data to Tracklucent. We will store, deduplicate, attribute, hash, and send your data to ad platforms and GA4 with conversion APIs. In addition to website tracking, online data can be enriched by offline and enrichment data from background systems such as CRMs. In conclusion, digital advertising is about training algorithms through data. Tracklution users have seen an average of 34% increase in tracked conversions, resulting in minus 18% reduction in customer acquisition cost. Those who stand still lose data and end up paying for it through higher customer acquisition costs. Companies that seize the opportunities will gain benefits and get more out of their ad budgets.